Toops Graphics presents Dayton Bronco Friday Night Lights 2012. Game 5. The Dayton Broncos travel to Sea King to take on the Panthers. Dayton Bronco Friday Night Lights is produced by Toops Graphics. Toops Graphics and the Dayton Broncos, a believing combination. Bronco starts the game off with a booming kickoff that's fielded around the 10-yard line. The Panther runs up the left side, reverses his field, turns to the right. He gets around the corner and is off to the races. The Broncos catch up with him and finally tackle him deep inside Bronco territory. See Key gets a first down. They move down the field, but then disaster happens. The snap goes over the quarterback's head, resulting in a big loss and a future CE King punt. On the first play that the Broncos have on offense, the handoff goes to Henry Dugan, who gets outside the CE King defense and whoop, goes right past number 22 and runs into CE King territory. Four plays later, the Broncos have it first to go. The hit ball is handed off to Henry Dugan, who cuts through the defense and crosses the goal line. The Broncos go up six to zero on the Panthers. Caracos extra point splits the uprights and is good. The Flag Boys run again for the Broncos. The Broncos go up on the Panthers by a score of seven to zero. trade punts. C. King has the ball inside their 20. On third and long, the quarterback goes back for a pass. There's no one open. He runs with the ball and fumbles. The Broncos recover it around the 20-yard line. Two plays later, the Broncos have second and long. The quarterback goes back for a pass, but it's intercepted by the Panthers. After the interception, the Panthers are unable to move the ball against the Bronco defense and after three plays are forced to punt the ball. Both teams swap punts again. The Broncos have the ball on third and long. Wynn Chambers takes off up the middle of the field, takes a right hand turn and gets around the corner. Chambers rumbles down the field and whoop, right around the Panther defender and into the end zone. The Broncos go up 13 to zero on the Panthers. The extra point splits the upright again. The Broncos now take a 14 to zero lead in the middle of the second quarter. In a putting parade of a game, the Panthers put the ball for the fifth time. The Broncos get a couple of first downs, but are also forced to punt. This punt by Caraco rolls down inside the Panther 10 yard line. Facing third and long from the seven yard line, the Panther quarterback takes the snap, or does he? The snap goes over his head. The Panther quarterback rumbles in the end zone and the ball's fumbled. The Broncos recover. The Bronco defense scores a touchdown. And the score is now Broncos 20, Panthers zero. The extra point is true. The score is now Broncos 21, Panthers 0. The Panthers take over the ball after the kickoff. The handoff is given to number three who cuts to his left and goes up the middle and cuts back to his right. And whoop, he is gone. The Panthers avoid a shutout and score a touchdown. Panthers extra point is fake. The Panthers go for two, but the pass is incomplete. Making the score, Broncos 21, Panthers six. And that was the score at halftime. Broncos 21, Panthers six. The Broncos get the ball first to start the second half, but are forced to punt. The Panthers get the ball and they're forced to punt. On the next Bronco possession, the Broncos drive the ball down to the 33-yard line and stall out when Caraco comes through and booms a 50-yard field goal right through the middle of the uprights. The Broncos go up on the Panthers, 24-6. 
the field goal. The Panthers get the ball and punt. The Broncos get the ball and they punt too. The fourth quarter starts off with the Panthers having the ball around the 20 yard line. The Panther quarterback heaves the ball down the field and it's caught. The receiver rides down the field but can't cross the goal line and is forced out at the two. The Panthers try to run the ball up the middle, but the running back stopped for a one-yard loss. Number three, Jeffries. On second down, the quarterback gets the snap, or does he? It goes through his hands. The ball's fumbled, and the Broncos recover. The Broncos take the ball, move it bound to around the 50, but are forced to punt for the 12th punt of the game. The Panthers get the ball and experience some success moving the ball inside Bronco territory when the quarterback gets outside of the containment and runs down inside the Broncos 10 yard line. The Panthers have it again, first to goal. The quarterback tries to run but is sacked. After two incomplete passes, the Panthers have it fourth down and goal from the eight yard line. The Panther quarterback gets the ball, throws into the quarter end zone, but it's incomplete out of bounds. Ryan McBride comes in to do some fourth quarter quarterbacking. He takes the ball, run to his left, and he gets around the corner. McBride zooms, zooms, zooms down the sideline and races into Panther territory. From this position, the Broncos are able to drain the clock and take away the victory. Dayton Bronco Friday Night Lights is produced by Tubes Graphics. Tubes Graphics and the Dayton Broncos, Ladies and gentlemen, a believing like combination. Other scores from 19-4A. Humble defeated Porter 24 to 18. The Bulldogs of Summer Creek crushed Crosby 49 to 21. And the Eagles of Barbers Hill demolished Kingwood Park 35 to 3. After three weeks, the teams are lined up as following in the District 19 4A standings. Toops graphics always believe.